What's up you guys? Welcome back to the channel. All you new subscribers, I'm Barboss and today we're installing the pistons. Alright, so I got a few items right here of what I'm going to be needing to install these. So basically, um, I got my pistons, I got my bearings, um, some assembly lube for the ARP bolts that are right here. And then for those bolts I got this guy it's a uh, 11 millimeter and as you can see all the little points in there then we got a ring compressor with the tool some oil and over here we have our mallet our torque wrench the other parts of the rods and we are ready. So the first thing I'm going to do is make sure that everything is looped up all over. I mean, it was already looped up, but I'm going to double check everything. What I am going to do now is open my bearings and I'm going to install a bearing into each one of these rods. It's as simple as that. Remember, the little notch goes towards the exhaust side. So if you assemble this correctly, the arrow should be facing towards the flywheel. And there's the little notch. This is your exhaust, this is your intake. I went ahead and I looped up my ring compressor on the inside and basically all you're gonna do is put this guy over and tighten it so I'm gonna do that right now once you have it compressed it should look something like this and now this is ready to be dropped into the block so here it is remember the arrow faces the flywheel which is that way you drop it in nice and slowly line it up then take your mallet whatever you have and tap it down with the wooden part And then slowly just tap it in. There it is. Now you take this guy off. And you have this guy on. So now I'm gonna do number four. I'm going to drop this guy in. Alright, so I got it on the ring compressor. I got the bearing in. Let's go ahead and drop this guy in. So now we got both of these guys in. 
So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna rotate the engine. Don't worry, those guys are not gonna fall out or anything. You can see that my rod is right here. So what I'm gonna do is put a little bit of assembly lube on the bearing. And I'm gonna continue to tap this guy up from the bottom. Now that I got it nice and tall, I can put my finger in there and spread this lube around. So now I will continue to tap this guy all the way to the crankshaft. He's all the way at the crankshaft now. So what I am gonna do is put the cap on it. Remember I marked these caps as my number one. So I'm gonna go ahead and install this guy. Put the bearing on here. Put a little bit of lube and install it. So I got the lube on here, the assembly lube, and now I'm gonna go ahead and put this guy in. That's pretty much it. Now you put your ARP bolts. Don't forget to put the lube on the ARP bolts and then you torque it to whatever specs the ARP bolts say you need to. So I went ahead and I tightened these down by hand. Those are the ARP bolts. I'm looking on the paperwork and it calls for 55 for the torque. Um, it doesn't say to do it in steps or anything, it says 55. So what I'm gonna do is I am gonna do it in steps. I'm gonna go 25, then I'll go 40, and then I'll do 55. That's what I'm gonna do. All right, so this is 25. And 25. Now I said I was going to go to 40. Or 45, something like that. I'll do 40. That's 40 right there. And now we're gonna step it up to the final, which is 55. Right there. Let me go ahead and torque it down one last time. I'm going to check it.
It looks good. So now I'm gonna do the next one. So I got it lined up. I'm gonna go ahead. This one's number four, as you guys can see right there. And go ahead and put them in there. Take my lube, the ARP bolt. It says to put this stuff on the threads and to make sure that it gets under the bolt head. Drop that guy in. and do the other one all right so i'm doing once again 25 Then I'm stepping it up to the 40s. And then I'm doing a final torque of 55. All right, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna attempt to spin this just to check and make sure everything clears. Yeah, it feels good. Let's spin this guy around so we can pop our last two pistons in.
So that's pretty much it for the pistons. They're in. And go ahead and spin this guy around. See if I could spin this by hand. Ugh, it's kind of hard. It's kind of hard because I have greasy hands, but it's actually, you guys can see it going up and down right here. Let me see if I could grab a paper towel and try to spin it. We put the pulley in here. But you guys get the idea. It just has to be free. So this is going to conclude this video. I'll catch you guys on my next one. Till then, peace out. Stay safe. Catch you guys later.